Right there. Hey, wait. Where on the side of the road? It's on, no, it's on the other side of the road. Oh, you can see those little white signs. We're gonna be right All here. right. <laughs> <laughs> Not even on the back door. <laughs> All right. Um, this is my way to stay for concert. There, there's no concert tonight. No concert tonight. Correct. Well, I missed the first music the first time around. We got in at three o'clock in the morning. Had time. You could hear the flute far away. It sounded really? good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey. Hello. All across the country, hundreds of thousands of people packed their bags and set off on an epic journey. Epic. Woodstock. stretched up to 20 miles. The organizers had no choice but to fly the performers to the stage. If you look at some of the old pictures, you will see cars littered all the way up and down the median where they were pulling over to park and then walk. You don't even have to bother bringing your tickets or anything, just there and collect them. There's no way they can. People continued to travel to Woodstock all weekend. And by Saturday, the Woodstock Music Festival was the third largest city in New York. Oh. And I remember being in this helicopter, and the door was open, and this big cop looked down and said, a lot of hippies out there. I bet they're doing lots of illegal stuff. And I suddenly realized, man, this was going to be a party. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! 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 I was going to say it's the kids that really are attracted to uh, being in the driver's seat, but I just noticed that uh, an adult just sat in the driver's seat. Everybody wants to drive here. <laughs> what did you think when you saw the further bus run up here to me? I freaked out. I was on my way home and I saw the bus drive by. I started following it like a stalker. And finally, when I realized that you guys were pulling into the parking lot, I knew, yes, they're coming to see the museum. So I guess it's the first time the bus is this is the first time yeah. the bus has been here since Woodstock. Absolutely. Um, can you explain some of the stories about like, the legends of the bus being at Woodstock? Uh, well, I'll tell you a museum legend. Uh, 
when I first started here, I knew that we wanted to have the authentic stuff. So I actually called Zane and asked, would you even consider donating further to the Museum of Bethel Woods? And he didn't even miss a beat. He says, I'll tell you what I told the Smithsonian. No. So I, I knew that I had no chance of getting further from the collection, but I'm so happy to have it visit. The museum is about self-expression. The, the museum is about uh, creativity, self-expression, freedom. And those are all things that the Franksters were about. Uh, they, they wanted to create a, a, a separate reality of, of love and, and creativity. And I think that's what Woodstock was about. That's what we're trying to instill in people today. That, um, you know, with, with the right inspiration, uh, with the right commitment to what you believe in, you can change the world, or at least change your own world. How do you see the culture has changed in the last 50 years? But, uh, when I see the faces of young people, I'm talking about young people in their teens and 20s, when they come through the museum, you can see that spark of inspiration, you can see that spark that, wow, they did do something in the 60s, maybe we can recreate that. So I've got some options for the future. Is there anything else that you'd like to say? Because a big thing about this film we're making is like passing the torch to the younger generation. Cool. Keep this culture going. Is there anything you would say to like the next generation? Uh, believe in something, follow that belief, act on it, and I think the world will be a better place. Nice. No, no, it's the first time